Hey YouTube, it's Lip Uncle Queen here. Just want to get here today and I wanted to share what I'm keeping in my caboodle. So I had bought a caboodle from the Urban Outfitters website back in November and um, each month I've been putting different products in this box and using them. So I wanted to go here today and share with you today exactly what I've been keeping in this box since January because I didn't get to do a January video. So this has been January and February. Um, but I'm super excited for this. So I have uh, my little caboodle. It's orange and mint green. And like I said, I purchased it off the Urban Outfitters website for 10 bucks and some change. It was a really awesome deal. Um, so it's really cute and small, but it does the job. So let's get started and I'll tell you what I ha keep in this. So mine does have a little mirror on it. I'll try not to blind you guys with. And in this caboodle, I have been keeping some really cool things I've been trying to use daily or maybe once a week or twice a week. So I will show you what I keep. So right now I'm keeping my Hey Honey Tricker Trick and Treat um, concealer. Don't have much of that left. I have tried to squeeze all of it to the very tip now. So I have about that much left. But I've been using that every day and I love it. And I've been keeping my um, little bit I have left of my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. And my um, awesome YouTube sister Zoe, she sent me this in a, a friend mail, and this is the Sephora Sweet Balm. I originally had my Sweet Violet one in there for like when I first got my caboodle, but I decided to switch it out and put this one in. And this is the Sweet Pink, and it's a really pretty pink shade. But I love this, and uh, I'm so glad you got that for me because I've been using it, um, and I really love it. And then I'm using my Elf Cool um, Color Correcting Palette. Um, and as you can tell, I have already hit pan on that twice now, as you can see over in the corner as well. Um, I love this. I use it every day. Four bucks at Walmart and Target. It's a great deal. Um, I've been using my Tarte um, Parte um, blush, and I have hit pan on that as well. I didn't think I was going to hit pan on that, and I was really excited about it. Um, I also have my Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil uh, Deluxe Sample Bronzer. And I haven't hit pan on that yet, but um, it always takes me forever to go through this. And I'm really glad it does because I really love these. Every time I get one of these samples, I'm just in love with them. So, very excited for that. And lip balm-wise, I've been keeping, um, I think it's a Car Skin um, Mini Care Lip Butter. I got this as um, I cash in points with Ipsy and got it. And it's just a cute little lip butter. It smells like a citrus, like a lemon. And uh, it's just really little, and it just does the trick. It makes your lips super moisturized, so I keep that in there. And I've also been using my uh, favorite lip zest ever. If you don't know what lip zest lip balms are, I will link um, I will link their face, not their Facebook, but their Instagram in the description box down below, and the eBay where you can purchase them. Um, if you know uh, Kayla Ann, which is um, Purple Stars 2 on YouTube, she has created her own line of lip balms, and they're just amazing. I love them. I have done many reviews on these, and uh, this one here has been my favorite. It's the Lip Cess Lip Balm in PB, PB and J Swirl, and I love this one so much. I keep this in my makeup box so I can use it every morning. I use it in the morning before I ever put anything else on my face. I put this on my lips and just let my lips moisturize until I use lip products, and at night I use the uh, lip butter. So I love that. And then on to the bottom part of this. For lipstick, I've been using my YSL lipstick. And I'm not sure what the color is called. It doesn't say. But I got this um, free from Influencer, and I've been trying to use it up. I really love this color, and I love the formula. It's really beautiful. So I've been using that. And then, um, highlighter-wise, I'm using my Physician Formula Butter Highlighter. This one's in Champagne. It's a beautiful shade. I will swatch it so you can see. If, look how buttery. Oh, man. It just glides on. It's just gorgeous. I highly recommend this if you're looking for a really nice highlighter. That's probably in the range of... 12 to $14. I know that might sound like real expensive for the drugstore, but you can really get good deals at CVS on them. If you uh, use coupons and, you know, extra bucks and stuff like that, you can really get a good bargain on those. Um, so I picked that up. 
And then um, I've been using that like all the time. I love that highlighter. And then I use this every day. It's the AOA Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent. And as you can tell, I don't have that much left in here, but I have a backup, so don't worry. Um, speaking of AOA, I have been using my um, AOA Perfect BB Cream in light. I'm obsessed with this. I love this product so much. I hate using foundations unless I really need it um, because I feel like it's so heavy on your skin and it clogs my pores easy. So um, BB creams are just like the better way to go for me. So I really like these. Um, it's not a full coverage uh, BB cream because BB creams aren't full coverage, but this one is like a medium for me and I really like the way it does the coverage and stuff on my face. So I really recommend it if you're into something that's just not really heavy on your skin. Um, and it's only a dollar on Shop Masse, so I really love this. And this is my backup, so I have to go order me another one. Because <laughs> I just used up my other one I had. And lip products. Gosh, I have so many in here, guys. Um, my Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Orchid. I love this lip color. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with it. Um, and other lip products I have in here. Thank you to the last two. Um, I keep Baby Lips, uh, Maybelline Baby Lips lip crayons in here. This is the purple one. And I think this one's called Playful Purple. But it's really nice. It's a really pretty color. I will swatch it on my hand for you guys. It's just really pretty. I love the way it looks on your lips. And it feels really moisturizing too. Um, and then, of course, what I have on my lips right now is the AOA uh, Diamond Lip Gloss. I love this one. Um, this one's called Girl Power, and it's probably one of my favorites. I love this one so much. Um, you can already see it on my lips, but I will swatch it on my hand for you guys. See the iridescent, like, shimmer in it? Oh my gosh, I love it. That and the Mermaid one are, like, my two favorites. I love them. So, definitely keeping those in there. Mascara-wise... I have three in here, and I don't know why I have three, but I have them in here, and they're open. So I have my Superhero um, It Cosmetics Mascara, my awesome YouTube sister Zoe sent me. And then I found this one at Dollar Tree. This is the Fiber Mascara from Bonneville. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but I'm still using it. And here is my favorite. Um, I love the Maybelline The Falsies uh, Mascara, and this one's almost dried up, so it's going to have to go soon, but I really do love it, and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing it in the future. I love it. And then another moisturizer I like to use, I like to use this one at night and in the mornings. This is the Honey Drop um, Pharmacy uh, Moisturizer. I got this in a Sephora Play Box, and, or Play by Sephora, and I love this so much. Um, all right, now eye products. This is another primer I've been using for my eyes. This is Physician Formula Matte Eye Primer. It's really nice. Um, and I use this for my brows. This is the Maybelline uh, Brow Pencil. And I think it's like medium brown or something. And then my um, two liners I have. Um, I have a Bonneville Liquid Eyeliner in Charcoal, which is not my favorite, but... I'm still using it right now. And then I have a Liquid Coal um, uh, eyeliner from Seraphine Botanicals, and that is my favorite. I love this one. And then there's the Bonneville one I got from Dollar Tree. And then um, I got this from um, one of my friends for Christmas, and this is from the brand Unique, and it's the Moonstruck uh, Pre Precision, I can't talk today, brow liner. Um, and it's really nice. I just tried it the other day, and I really am impressed with it. So I'm going to keep it in my box and try to get some use out of it. Um, and then um, liquid, eye, um, liquid eyeshadows. I cannot talk today, guys. I apologize. This is the one I've got from um, Dollar Tree. And it's from e.l.f., and it's called Brush Copper. And this one's really nice. Um, I don't use it as often as I use my other ones, but it's really pretty. Isn't that a beautiful color? Um, so I have that and then I really just use these two the most. I love these so much. These came from um, Shop Miss A and these are the A2O brand. Um, this one here is the color Wash. I love this. It's so beautiful. It's really pretty. That beautiful like rose gold look. It's really, it's really pretty. 
And then the last one that I have is called Fume. And I ordered this a couple orders ago, and I really do like it. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. Um, it's so beautiful. And it really is more of a, like a rose goldish. The other one's more like a pink with a shimmer in it. But it's really pretty, and I really love these. And these were on sale for a dollar, because normally they're like two fifty, I think, on the site. But they were on discount, so I went ahead and ordered those two. And the last thing that I keep pretty much in my makeup stuff is I keep this. This is pretty much outside my box, but I keep it with it. It's my Dove Intensive uh, Cream for your hands or your body. This stuff's amazing. I got it from Dollar Tree, and it smells absolutely amazing, and it feels so good on your hands and your body. Oh, this smells clean and fresh. And look how thick it is, guys. Like, look. This stuff absorbs in your skin really fast, but it makes you so soft. I got it from Dollar Tree. It's in the aisle where all the beauty section stuff is and like the hand lotions and different things. And it was such a good buy. Like this will last me for a while because I don't use a whole lot. It don't take a whole lot um, when you use it. So this is a 2.53 um, ounce container. So I'm excited for this and I really love it. And if you happen to see this at your Dollar Tree and you love really... Um, moisturizing hand creams or body creams definitely go for it because it's worth it um so that is what i'm keeping in my caboodle for right now um i've been using every day and stuff since the beginning of the year but i also wanted to mention that um i'm also uh gonna show some empties that i have went through since from from december till now um, I don't normally do empty videos, but I wanted to add this in because I actually have used quite a bit up. Um, at least for me, anyways. I used up a sample I had got in a... I want to say it was an Ipsy bag, one of my last ones I got. This is the Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I really loved this. The scent was a little... Um, it was a little strong, but... Um, but it was still really good and it, it made my hair really look nice for the days that you don't get a chance to wash it or anything Or you know just need a little refreshingness to your hair I really liked it and it did a good job So I wanted to go ahead and uh, mention that I had used that up completely I also used this uh, um, play by Sephora um, Sample up and this is the Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream from the Fresh brand And I love this this was so nice such a good moisturizer but I used it completely up. And then I used a um, Neutrogena um, Skin Clearing Blemish uh, Concealer. I used it completely up the other day. I do have a backup of this, so I'll probably use that after I use up the Hey Honey Concealer. But this is one that's really nice to go under the eye and to just do spot blemishes and stuff. So I really like this, and I was um, really happy to um, have a backup of it so I can be ready. Um... I did want to put this back into my box now that I'm looking at my other box that has my empties in it. This is not done. This is a Marc Jacobs uh, mascara that I recently um, got in a Play by Sephora box. I want to put this back in my caboodle, so I am going to add that back in since my uh, falsies one is getting ready to be finished. So I was glad to have that. And then I finished up an AOA Perfect BB Cream and Light. I love this. Like I told you, I have my backup actually in my caboodle now. I'm going to need to order another one soon. Um, this is fantastic. I really recommend this. Um, I know BB creams are not for everybody, but for me and my preferences, I think that my pores don't get clogged as often and my face don't feel like super heavy with all that, you know, foundation and stuff. I like just having a light coverage like that that actually does the job. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for that kind of like coverage, you know, a light one, but it doesn't feel super heavy on but it does a good job so i'm excited for that and i did use that up and um and then i'm almost done with my elf uh, makeup mist and set i'm actually going to throw this back in my caboodle as well um because i only have about i think this much left so i want to go ahead and get use out of this and um uh, finish it up so i'm gonna add that in my caboodle and i have been using lip scrubs because I just love lip scrubs. And I don't use them every day. I use them at least twice a week, maybe, depending on how dry my lips are. I've been using my e.l.f. Um, lip Exfoliator. And this one's, I think, in mint. 
and I don't have that much left. I mean, this stuff goes pretty quick when you're using it quite a bit. So that's going to go back in my caboodle because I've had it in my bigger one. Um, and I did dabble with this one. This one's actually really nice as well. It's from Revlon Kiss, and it's the exfoliating balm, and it's a sugar one. And it has a really nice sweet mint scent. And it just winds up from the bottom, just like the Kiss Bombs do. It's really nice, and I do recommend this if you happen to see it. Um, what else was I using that I threw in here? I was using another product. Oh, I've decided when I'm finished with my um, e.l.f. color corrector, if I don't want to go and just run off and buy another one immediately, I'm thinking about just using up my uh, Stay Matte powder from Rimmel. Um, I have hit pan on this one, but I kind of put it to the side while I was using my e.l.f. one. But I do plan on um, putting this back in rotation after I've used up the e.l.f. Uh, color corrector because I feel like those two do the same kind of thing, um, at least me using it all the time on my skin. It gives me about the same kind of coverage and stuff and the way it looks on my skin. So um, I am excited for that and um, I really do love that product. And as you all know, when you saw my panning video, I did finish up my Naked uh, Basics palette. So excited for that. I'm actually going to throw it away now because I've actually held on to it for some reason. I don't know if I was just admiring it that I finally finished it or what, but I'm actually going to toss it now that I'm doing my empties. So that completes my um, What's in My Caboodle and some of my, my monthly empties, I guess, since probably December. December to February, my empties. So I just want to go in here today, share this with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, um, and I hope you have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.